Now, it is said that all good things eventually do come to an end, a sentiment certainly shared by Sheffield boxer Ryan Rhodes, who announced today that he is to retire from the game. At 35, with an impressive professional record of 46 wins in his 52 fights, Ryan believes that now is the right time to hang up his gloves. Well, what about the future? Well, Ryan and his trainer David Colwell are with us in the studio tonight. Thanks very much for coming us and seeing us. Must be a really tough day for you, Ryan. Very. Uh, over the last week, it's, it's, to be fair, it's like I've been watching ET all week. I've, I've been so upset. Uh, <laughs> my kids have been upset, my wife. Uh, but we knew, obviously, the day would come. Um, I went on holiday four weeks ago, and when I got back, I, I made the decision. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel, after today, I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders, so I know I've made the right decision. It is the end of an era, but it's the start of a new chapter in your life, which is, again, as exciting if not different. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I'm obviously looking forward to working in the gym with the lads, with Dave. Uh, I'm looking to get my corners licence so I can, I can go into the corner with, with Dave and, and just pass my advice on. And Dave, how hard is it for a boxer to know when the time is right? Because, you know, th there is a chance some go on too yeah, long. Pl plenty of fighters go on too long. But Ryan's a smart kid. You know, he's got good people around him. That's the most important thing from myself and Mark Willie in the gym to all his family and, and his close-knit friends. You know, he's not got anybody on his shoulder saying, come on, you can still fight, what are you mm -hmm. packing up mm -hmm. for? You know, they all, they've always, all the way through his career, been about him himself, not about his successes, about him himself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, he's had good advice and he's got good people around him. It's been a great career. I think we've got some footage of you that dates back a few years, <laughs> a, a younger the, Ryan. <laughs> all the way back to 1996. <laughs> this is one of your first press conferences, and that's you in the Calvin Klein hat in there. There's big the Bill that night. One. Johnny Nelson's there as well. Well, and Brendan's in the middle, but there you are. There hey, are. you were looking mean looking in those days. Mean and moody there. Yeah. <laughs> so was I'm Johnny right as well. Kid, mm. Yeah, Johnny hadn't changed much. <laughs> <laughs> My eyebrows are a little bit trimmed now. But... Uh. <laughs> so we've got more footage that we want to show uh -oh. you. In 1999, this is you in Grand Canary. This was a very tough training camp. It, yeah, it looks, looks, it, looks it. Do all training camps go like this, Dave? <laughs> I mean, is this the way things happen? No, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a holiday to me. It does look like I'll train to be a boxer if that's uh, that's what it's uh, all about. But you're going to miss. That kind of thing, but you're I going mean, to be back in the gym. The camaraderie is still oh, going to be there. Definitely, I, look, yeah. I mean, I'm always in the gym. I'm always helping out with with, with the lads in the gym, tr sparring with them, and, and you know, d advising them already. I'm doing that already, so I'll always be in the gym. And obviously, when I take my corners license, I'll be in, I'll be involved so much more as well. Mm -hmm. So I just want to pass my knowledge on to, to the younger generation coming through. And like I say, if if, if I help any fighters succeed then i've done my job Fantastic. right you've mm. been a great ambassador oh, for the sport thanks, thanks so thanks much for, for coming me. and seeing thanks us today it's a tough it's day lovely for you. to see you thanks, thanks very much you. for coming in Bye. now some no. boxing news and uh, the former british and european champion ryan rhodes has announced his retirement the 35 year old told a news conference in sheffield he'd no longer be fighting he's boxed since he was just six years old winning british and european titles in recent years he even fought the world title in mexico against one of the very best in the business i've had a great career the only thing i've not won is a world title but i've fought for three world titles four if you count the wbu against gary lockett and i went to mexico to, to fight one of the best I think pound for pound fighters in the world at the minute in Saul Alvarez. So I've done everything. I've done everything I can apart from win a world title. And I think to get back up there to try and win a world title, it's just too much for me. You're right, I think time to call it a day, do you think, for him? Yeah, but I think what we should remember, he was a great boxer. He's yeah. a great guy. And as he said, you know, by the time he gets fit and well again, it will be 38, 39. But w I, I wanted to wish him good luck because I really like Ryan and I really yeah. liked his boxing. He's been a great style. ambassador for the city as well, hasn't he? He will so, continue yeah. to be so, yeah. I'm yeah. sure.